OpenAI just released their image generation API that everyone's been waiting for. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can start using it to create and edit videos in any day. I'm going to walk through this easy three part system that you can download and use right away. Let's dive right in. All right. So at a high level, it's a pretty simple workflow. We're using NADN, specifically the AI agent module in combination with a chat trigger that will let you just enter whatever prompt you want to create the image or whatever prompt you want to be able to edit said image. And just to make things as straightforward as possible, we're going to focus on three key actions. One is obviously creating the image. Two is editing that image if you want to go back and forth. And three is actually posting that image or edit or iteration in a Google Sheet that you can use to track all your different versions. Now you can sub Google Sheet for Airtable or no code DB, anything you want, but I'll start with Google Sheet just because it's the most generalizable. All right, so if we hop into any then, you're going to see that we have the AI agent module here, and this is basically our image creation and editor orchestrator. So when we have a chat that's received from yourself, it'll send it to the AI agent, and then it will decide whether or not we are creating an image or we're editing an image, and then it will save either or to the Google sheet of your choice. Now, even though you probably only care about the newest image generation model, that same API can be used for Dolly 3 and Dolly 2. So just in case you wanted to invoke those different models, we designed this in a way that you can structure it and call each one of them should you want. So let's take a look at the AI agent prompt powering this whole system. All right, so the AI agent module receives the chat trigger here, and then we forward it along to the following system prompt that says, you are an AI image generation assistant that helps users generate and edit images using OpenAI's image APIs. You can help with two types of operations. One, generate new images from text descriptions, and two, edit or extend existing images. And then here we go on to say how we'll handle those requests and store them in a Google Sheet. And then we give some reference material here so that it can push back on you if you're not being clear enough, as well as explain any limitations of the API. And down here we have the three possible models you might pick from. Now Dolly 2, probably you'll never want to use. Dolly 3, you can just call it out by saying Dolly 3. And then GBT image-1 is the model you probably care for. So that's the one you can ask for specifically in your prompt. And finally down here, we have one more instruction that basically just says, when you receive a link in the format of a Google Drive, make sure it's well formatted and embedded so that all you have to do is ask for the image, it will go do its thing, come back with a link that links to the image in your Google Drive that you can directly access right away, as well as use as a reference link to be able to edit it. All right, so enough talking, let's actually take this for a spin. Let's open the chat and let's actually open a brand new tab here. And let's ask for an image. So let's take a very common use case. All right, so create a hyper-realistic image of a house on the beach of Santorini that looks like it was taken by a Canon camera with a 35 milliliter lens. So we'll transcribe that, send it over, and by default, it should send it to the newest version of the image API model. All right, and if you see here, we now have a link to an image as well as a confirmation of creating this high quality Santorini picture. When we click on this image right there and close this up, you'll see we have a pretty picture. Now we can say we want it to look a lot more different, a lot more abstract. So let's go back and actually test out the edit feature. So if we go back to here and let's open up that chat again, I'll say this is a good image, but I want to make it a lot more funky and abstract. I don't want to make it look like a normal cookie cutter house on the Santorini beach. So in this case, we'll, what we'll have to do is just one thing. You'll just have to reference the URL address. So I'm just going to say copy link address and then paste it here. Okay. And then we'll send that over. It should be able to read that file that's been written to our Google drive, which will go through all the sub workflows and automations shortly. And it should come back with an amended version of that exact same image. All right, and it came back after a minute and we have a brand new link now. And I think my instructions weren't the best because if we open this up in a new tab and close this up, this is way too funky and we lost the hyper realism of the first image. But you see the idea and you see how you can take the existing first image and then build on it and edit it using the same feature in the same chat. So the devil's in the details obviously and let's go through what the sub workflows are actually doing to make this happen. So if we go back, and we just hide the chat. Again, we have the create and we have the edit. 
you'll see here right now the edit just ran because it knew that I was trying to edit the existing image and it saved to the sheet every single time. So if we pop over to my Google sheet here, you'll see that we have all of the different runs I've had, one accidentally with Dolly 3, but you'll see a record of everything we've created as well as the actual description of my prompt that I sent over. So it's a good way to actually track your different iterations, especially if you're experimenting for the hundreds of use cases that are now possible with this API. So for this first workflow, we receive a trigger from the AI agent module. And then this one is pretty straightforward. We send a post request to the new API from OpenAI right here. So we have all the specifications as well as the model, the prompt, the number of images we want right here, the size of those images, the quality, etc. All that is extracted. And then if you look at the little text note here, again, prompt, model, quality, number of images. If you do want more than one image, this workflow should be able to handle it because right after we have this split out function where if you have multiple image, it will separate them and then convert all of them to what's called base 64. So obviously you're not actually carrying a JPEG or a PNG throughout this whole automation. It's converted into binary format to carry and transfer through until it gets to its final destination, let's say the Google Drive, which we can then extract the link to and then physically see it on an actual screen. So on your end, you'll just have to authenticate into your Google Drive right here. And then we're just formatting the link from the Google Drive so that it embeds and it looks proper when you actually receive it back in the chat. And then at the very end here, if you have multiple images, then we'll just aggregate them to provide multiple links in the chat. So that's numero uno. Numero dos is the edit images portion. And this one's also pretty straightforward. So when this is invoked, it's gonna check whether or not that image that you're referencing already exists in the Google Drive. If it does, which it should, if it's uh, generated and sent to your assets, then it will download that file and then create a version of that image that's a variation of it, and then convert it to base64 and again, send it back into the chat. Otherwise, this is more experimental and won't always work, but we tried to put a module right here that lets you take an image and take the image address. And even if it's not your Google Drive, try to take that target image and convert it as well. But this no doesn't always work, very experimental. So if you're having trouble with it, this is the one that's more reliable. And then at the end, we have one more Google Drive step right here that just uploads the latest edited file. And then again, provides a link in the normal drive format that will embed properly in the chat itself. So aside from this, we only have one more workflow to take a look at, which is the most simple one which is just storing the actual image in the Google Sheet. So in this workflow, we basically have this if function that checks whether or not the image being provided is already in the Google Drive. If not, it gets uploaded to the Google Drive and we generate a link. Otherwise, it goes straight to adding a new row in the Google Sheet, which all you have to do again is just sign in with your credentials in here, and then you'll be able to set that up. And then again, you can send the link of the Google Drive and format it so it's ready to be sent back into the chat and goes back to the AI agent module and then back to you. And in terms of the actual format, you can add whatever columns you want. In this case, we just added the image link here, the type of request you made, whether it was a create or edit request and the model you used as again, and as well as the prompt you used as well. You could add all kinds of additional metadata should you wish, but this will give you everything you need and the foundation to get started. And that's pretty much it. So you can actually download all of these sub workflows and core template in the first link in the description below and use it to your heart's content. And if you wanna see even more experiments we're gonna do with image generation and edit it in, feel free to take a look at the second link in the description below for our paid community called Early AI Adopters. Happy image creation and I'll see you next time.